Mm -hmm. You mentioned the quarterbacks, and um, today we saw all three quarterbacks that the Bayou gives significant playing time to as quarterbacks. Uh, we also saw Teddy Shellett Holder, but he doesn't throw much. <laughs> no. Um, but no. Edward Wright Baker played the vast majority of the game, and honestly, he looked pretty good. He's I don't think there's any doubt that right now he's the best person to be starting for this team. And I think even more so because when we saw Dusty Keel or Trey Roberson, they they made quite a few mistakes. Uh, Keel did not look look very good at all, and Roberson just looks young and, and inexperienced, though very talented. But I think it looks to me like the team right now has the right quarterback. Really what I take out of this is two things. One, I think this was really positive for Wright Baker, not only because of what he did, but because of what the guys behind him didn't do. I mean, I, if he was looking behind his shoulder or over his shoulder at all at Dusty Keel and Frey Roberson, I don't think he is anymore because Keel came in and looked, I mean, he looked really rattled on some plays. He threw a bad pick that uh, didn't come to be because of offsetting penalties, so he got lucky there, but he didn't look very good at all. Roberson got less time. He looked okay, but I think Wright Baker is definitely the guy. You learn that, and then you also take the fact that Pagan got pulled on the offensive line that nobody's job is really safe. So if Wright Baker does go out and play poorly next week at North Texas, throw two or three interceptions, I mean, you might see Keel in there the next week. So under Kevin Wilson, it doesn't matter what – if you're a senior, a freshman, if you're playing, you better be playing well or else you're going to be pulled for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What this tells me with, with the offensive line changes is that Wilson is building – both for now and for the future, and he wants to make sure that the players who play the way he wants to are, are the guys on the field, no matter seniority or, or what have you. He's, he's building for, for now and the future by, by putting his system and his mentality on this team, and I think that's really reflected in how he changed up the offensive line rather drastically today. Yeah, definitely, and... Uh... You know, going back to the to the quarterback thing and the, you know, bouncing off both those points, kind of, is that yeah, Kevin Wilson is sending him was sending a message tonight a couple times uh, that he's not going to tolerate red zone turnovers. He was uh, he was very adamant about that in the post game press conference. He said, um, you know, Ed was kind of scrambling around. Uh, he said it's kind of become his default third down move to. Um, you know, look kind of rattled, scramble and run, run the ball instead of looking. You know, ha having a little bit more patience and looking for a guy downfield, uh, and that he was running with the ball kind of out, not tucked in. And he also said that he wasn't, um, and that when he took Ed out, that he didn't like uh, the reaction that he got from Ed. That he was um, not as engaged as he was. Um, and you know, that's that's just. The kind of the kind of coach Kevin Wilson is, the kind of program that he's trying that he's trying to build, the no nonsense, uh, you know, regime that's going to get things done, basically. Any quotes in cons, guys? I don't think so. No, no. we won't be traveling to North Texas next week, so we'll have to uh, watch the game on ESPN three, like all of you will. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you're all excited about that, but look forward to another week of coverage and. Hopefully this team continues to progress like they had the last couple of weeks. I mean, North Texas next to uh, the South Carolina State team we saw today is quite possibly the most beatable team on IU's schedule this year, and so it could be very uh, convenient timing to have them next. It's a, it's a sort of a logical progression, a stepping stone in, in the level of competition, and so maybe, maybe that's exactly what IU needs. To, to get in a second win, put the record at 500, make, get a little momentum going, and see where this team under Kevin Wilson can go. Um, until next time, I'm Max McCombs. This is Alex McCarthy and Justin Albers. And uh, thank you for reading the IDS and visiting IDSnews.com. We appreciate it. Goodbye. <laughs>